Hi everyone, this is Prashad Parthiban. Today, I'm going to cover generative AI use cases in first notice of loss processes. First, let's see what do you mean by first notice of loss. In claims processing in PNC insurance, the first step the customer does is they file their claim. That is the term we call it as first notice of loss. That's the first time an insurance company is knowing about that claim. Now, this first notice of loss has a set of steps like where the customer inputs their loss details and you enter step by step workflow. And the recent times we have found that generative AI can enormously improve this process and helps reduce the cost. So let's see a few use cases where generative AI can help first notice of loss. To start with chatbot for claim intake. Most of you know, sometimes when you go to an insurance company, they may say that the customers can file claim only from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. because of the fact that humans pretty much work with the end customers to collect data. Whereas with AI, we can have chatbot that is artificially trained, which can work 24 hours a day to collect the initial information from the customers in the claims first notice of loss. And as you know, AI can work like humans most of the time because of the way it is getting trained. So it can be more interactive between the customers and AI chatbots. Image recognition, right? Like most of you know, AI can very well direct the images within the loss information. So if for example, if you have a personal auto loss, Based on the images captured by the customer, it can say if the car is total loss or partial loss or how much is it going to be the amount that we have to pay, right? So it can detect those stuffs automatically. Fraud detection, because AI is trained with enormous amount of data, especially generative AI. It is trained with all large language models. So it has n number of data. So when a customer files a claim, say, for example, if a customer is filing claim every week or twice, then the AI can give in to the insurance company to see if there is any fraudulent activity automatically without somebody looking at the claim manually. Automated policy search, right? Most of the, you know, the heart of FNOL is policy search and retrieval. Now, because of the fact AI is trained enough, based on the claim information and its ability to interact with multiple systems, can automatically pull that policy relevant to the claim and make sure that the policy had relevant coverage or not. <clears throat> Natural language processing. Most of you know, like if you have submission intake or underwriting workbench, NLP, natural language processing has an ability to read specific data within the document. So if you have a document when you file a claim for 30 pages and that document has critical information like the vehicle information or when the loss happened. This can read the entire document and scan only the specific information and copy that information and put it in the application. So that's what we call it as natural language processing using AI models. Automated reserve calculation, right? Because of the fact AI have seen so many number of clients with the similar characteristics. The moment you file FNOL, the system can tell you what is the total reserve amount that we need to set, set aside for this claim. Reserve is nothing but the like highlighted amount that the insurance company thinks that it has to pay out for the particular claim. Multi-language support, say like if you want to file a claim in Chinese or you no know, different language other than English, French or etc. You can enter that and AI can convert that into the English language that is or any other language that supports the system. Prediction analytics, like we have models that can be created in AI so that when you file a claim, the models can run automatically and it can predict if it is a low priority claim or high priority claim and then accordingly kind of no assign it. As you know, predictive analytics has n number of data variables, like 1000 plus data variables. So it can go to multiple systems. Say example, if you are filing a claim, it can go to policy system, it can go to billing system, it can go to medical bill system, pull all the data variables and then determine if this claim is a legitimate claim or it's a low priority claim, etc, etc. 
automatic document generation, right? That's one of the heart of generative AI. At the end of this F1 process, if you want to create a consolidated loss report, it doesn't require a person to do that. AI can generate a loss report based on all the data variables that it have collected during the entire F1 process. Sentiment analysis, basically, you know, like in Amazon or some other websites, when customer enters their comments, I'm happy with this product or I'm, I'm not happy. So those are called sentiment analysis based on which the company can improve their product. Similarly, when the customer enters their command, etc., AI can read those and recommend their special approach for the insurance companies. Pretty much, there are a number of use cases, but I just wanted to start with the FNOL. In the future coming sessions, we'll cover each one of them, like what is the segmentation, how AI can help in segmentation, assignment, adjudication, etc., etc. Thank you once again for your continuous support. Have a great day. Bye-bye.